where is the place in education tomorrow in our lifelong learning process. We all, and especially most economists, really know that the general impression and idea we have of the market is, is not true. The neoclassical model uh, of the market has got such a prominent place in our thinking about the market that it really hides from our view the, the, the real, much more complex, prevailing market. We started to believe uh, in these crude assumptions that we had to make in order to, to make the mathematics of the model work, and we started to believe that there, these assumptions actually reflected reality in different ways. The open, complex, adaptive systems we find in nature, uh, the, the market has got socially constructed feedback mechanisms. My book is really about trying to, to ch not come with a lot of uh, recommendation on policy and what one could do and shouldn't do, even if I have a few of those things. But the main message is really having this paradigm mm -hmm. shift of how we see the market. And I, and I, I uh, actually call it the Copernican revolution of the way to see the market and the shift from having sort of the market in the center and us humans circulating around the market. It's again a question of putting us humans in the center of the system and understanding that the market is, is really there to, to service us. Most systems, and especially socially constructed systems, wouldn't be systems without the constitutive rules. In the name of efficiency of the market, the more we can affect with the internal rules, the less we have to affect the efficiency of the market with external regulating rules.